Hey YouTube, welcome back to my installation of Ubuntu on my Chromebook, my C7 Chromebook. And in the first video I showed you how to back up your, uh, make a recovery disk using your USB thumb drive uh, right on the Chromebook itself. Just stick it in, go to the page, and it does it. Um, watch that video first, and then this way you have everything backed up. It's not necessary to back it up, but it's good to have just in case you run into problems. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit the power button off. Now, this uh, video is going to be entitled uh, Going Into Developer Mode. So we're going to go into Developer Mode. Um, we're going to shut down. We're going to hit our shut down button. And we're going to shut down. And then what you have to do is you have to hit the Escape button and the F3 button, which is a refresh button, a refresh home page button. So you hit the Escape button, the F3 button and the power button at the same time and you will recover go into I'll show you so now you'll go into this page here and what it will say is Chrome OS is missing or damaged please insert recovery USB don't worry about that we're not going to worry about now this may seem a little scary to you to see this, but don't worry about it. What we're going to hit is the control button and the D. And then we'll hit enter. And then it says to turn off OS verification off, press enter. Your system will reboot. So we hit enter. So now the computer reboot and it says OS verification is off press the spacebar to enable. So you can hit control D or you could just wait the 30 seconds and it will restart. So the, the system is transitioning into developer mode. Local data has been cleared. Modify modifications that you make in the system are not supported by Google may cause hardware issues and void warranty. To cancel, turn off the computer now. Don't worry about that. We have that back up there, so we're not going to have any problems. So now the computer reboots and it all by itself. If it doesn't, just hit the control data and it'll say preparing system for developer mode. This may take a while. Do not turn your computer off until it has restarted. So let's just wait for that to restart. Okay, so it's about 99% done. It's got two seconds left. So it's preparing developer mode and then once it's done we're going to wait until it's totally done it's going to reboot and it's going to go into here all you have to do is hit control D and control D will reboot it again and it will open up like it's opening up for the first time when you bought it uh, the only thing we're going to do is we're going to connect to the Wi-Fi again and then we're going to um, not sign in to our Google accounts and then we'll be fine from there now so just re-enable your Wi-Fi uh, it should remember it should remember what you had already and uh, just basically put in your password and that pretty much concludes uh, setting it into developer mode in the next video part three you're gonna see us actually booting in and into developer mode the console and installing uh, Ubuntu or Chrome, Chrome Boot 2. So uh, make sure you subscribe, uh, watch the next video, and then we'll go from there. And then once I play around with Ubuntu, uh, you're going to see a lot of great stuff going on. Uh, I'm going to show you all about media and AirPlay and all that other stuff. So. Make sure you follow and like and share, and that would help me out big time, and we'll continue this in